Uh, hey friends, good morning. Where I am, I'm back to normal life after crazy two weeks of traveling to different places and we have a new summon. So let's scroll, it's not too far. Super elemental summon, I was hoping that they will put uh, multiple colors, but they haven't. So Xavier is the new legendary. He has a dagger. So he can dodge. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat has been really playing. I've gone through different time zones. and No, rather more seasonal crap. And have tanned like crazy. Despite being brown Indian. And more tanned. It's really funny. But feel healthy because of all the sun. And that's why the sunny, holy hero analysis. <coughs> we know what the fuck this is. We also know what this does, so I'm not going to go into that. Coming down to <coughs> the stats, well, the, uh, as the new heroes are being introduced, the early part of their family uh, has lower stats, have lower stats, and these guys are in tune with today's stats, which is already crossed. 951 attack, 887 defense, and 1672. <coughs> Excuse me. Health, all three combo is fantastic. Cascading whirlwind. Deals 280 damage to the target at average speed. If an ally is of holy element, the damage will increase to 290 and it will affect nearby enemies. If two allies are of holy element, the damage will increase to 300 and it will affect all enemies, which means for 3-2, this guy is going to be even more crazy and reduces the mana of all the hit enemies by minus 20%. <laughs> Fuck. Crazy. All aspects of his... Special is really amazing. <clears throat> and for 3-2 play, which most people do, in uh, whether it's raids, wars, or any other play, this comes in really handy because he becomes a hit all, otherwise hit three. And hence, by being that, impact all or impact three. Wow. Damn good hero. Let's go out and come back because I saw an epic one also. Zion or Zione. Yeah, this guy can be called Javier. I'm just trying to pronounce all the possible pronunciations. So, Zion is cleric. There are benefits of that. We know what this does and we know what this does. You know, I'm not repeating this because I know that, uh, you know, my subscribers are as clever or even in many cases better clever than me in terms of the game knowledge so i don't need to repeat it because then it feels a little childish that i'm feeding you all the same information for the nth time don't need to do that <laughs> zione seems to be upset <laughs> i'm gonna get her back there you are hide all you want so going to the stats, 680 attack, 690 defense, and 1234 health, which feels on a lower side because I've seen 1300 plus health on quite a few epic heroes. But okay, express delivery at average speed. What does she do? Alters the powers of power of all holy shields on the board. When an attacking hero casts, the shields become enhanced and give plus 30% more mana. When the defending hero casts, it's minus 23% less mana. All allies get plus 35 attack for four turns. For all holy character, the status effect becomes undispellable and lasts two turns longer. So I'm not so impressed. Because see, I honestly look at heroes of this type, which are super premium to acquire, uh, to be doing much more. And this is something that when I see uh, that plus 35 attack is not anything significant. Yes, the plus 30% mana is helpful, but it depends on the board, the holy shields on the board. But uh, I would have been happier if this attack up was <clears throat> upwards of 50 or 60, which would make sense for this hero to be leveled up and used in the team. Otherwise, with double limit break, we already have Bertulf. So uh, that impact of attack up comes from there so not so impressed with this one but super impressed with xavier javier whichever way one wants to call him 
excellent combo. So yeah, while I'm getting a headache uh, and feeling bored also with so many new heroes coming up, I I'm going to leave it at that. That's my personal experience, but my personal experience need not be the experience of the overall player base because there are quite a few <clears throat> newer players, younger players I would say compared to me who are able to acquire some good heroes they're excited to use. So I'm really happy for the overall game and the player base. But I can see and feel how the older players <clears throat> are feeling the fatigue of massive number of heroes being uh, introduced into the game. Because I'm feeling it. <clears throat> but I want to caution over here that uh, the number of heroes being introduced in the game is what the game does. When I don't engage and my engagement with the game in terms of pulls and in terms of various things has come down significantly. Which means a lot of stress and fatigue is managed by me. Because I'm not competitive. I realized that if I'm competitive, I as it is gets stressed in on, on the daily basis in my regular life, real life, as people say in the game that, you know, real life is important. So I have for the last two weeks been traveling and, you know, it's been connected to sports and there's a lot of competitive spirit there. But many times I would tell uh, the teams and myself also that can I have fun instead of being competitive all the time? Because that frees up a portion of me to chill and maybe deliver better in the competitive environment. So... The point is, uh, it's my job to chill myself and not the game's job. The game is just a tool available for me to have fun. So I have cut down and uh, while I have heroes, I'm going to show you guys something. So this is the situation of my materials. I can use up all this to level up heroes that are sitting at 370. But I'm not doing it. I'm going about it in my own kind of a way. So... I ran this, so I am completing four stars and three stars using the one stars that I had built up, some five, six thousand I had built up and I'm slowly, and I stopped it. So it has not put pressure on my food storage and my various other storages, but they have come in really handy to, uh, you know, level up a lot of three stars off late that have popped up in the last two to three months. The other part is... Because I'm not completing a lot of legendaries, I have got my three training camps at 11, which are loaded. So there you go. That shows that, you know, I have 3,500 plus one and two star feeders. And this is the situation of my trainer heroes. So, I mean, it's up to me how I uh, find a way to keep myself sane <laughs> Nobody else is going to do it. So one of the small secrets is that I'm not competitive like crazy. Yes, I do get upset if I'm not winning, but I get over it also pretty fast. So I'll leave it at that. So thanks for watching. Thanks, to my, thanks for listening to my rambling. But I wanted to share that with certain players who are feeling that, you know, the tiredness and the fatigue. Uh, while I cannot solve things for y'all, but I can share what I am doing. So that's about it. Cheers and see you in the next video.